Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well out there. Today, we're going to go through my super coach team and how we did over the weekend. Then the trades that I'm going to be doing and bringing in some dope players coming into the weekend just before the buy, just before all the big price rises. So hopefully we pick the right players here and get a little bit of coin into our team. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. This week, we end up turning up. We got 1,131 points. I was pretty lucky that I put Harry Grant as a captain this week and he played fucking awesome. 148 points on a captain. Uh, really, really appreciate that from Harry Grant. Other players that played amazing here, we had Jermaine Hopgood. That was fucking awesome. He's been amazing for the last, what, couple of weeks. Plus, we had Big Tino fucking playing awesome. I'm so happy with Tino getting back to what his standards are this week in Supercoach. Last week, I didn't think he had a bad game overall, but... Uh, only scoring like 38 last week or something like that was pretty disappointing. Now getting back with 111, uh, just getting over break even, which is a good sign. Plus to add with that, we have great performances from Semi Walker in this one. Semi Walker scoring a try and just like performing really well for my team at the moment. 92 points for Semi Walker. Well done to him. Uh, hopefully he continues his form because he's going to be my starting halfback coming into this week with Nathan Cleary out. Eli Katoa having a massive week too. I'm so happy I brought him into my squad and put him into my team. I'm really, really happy with these performances lately. Going to be making a shitload of cash for me. So I uh, really appreciate that from Eli Katoa. Hopefully he can continue that form. Uh, got a couple of line breaks in that game and just looked damaging overall. He was so unlucky to not get that try and would have been uh, fucking amazing. So the big one here, I kind of wish that Jacob Preston, uh, I put Jacob Preston in my team, but I didn't, you know, I didn't really really expect it like I just was like oh I'll just wait and see how he goes in the starting lineup and see how he did over the weekend and fuck he played awesome so got the Tigers this week so I do think that I might put him into my reserves the Tigers going in without Johnny Bateman and all that sort of stuff he should get a lot of really good ball off that edge and hopefully get another meaty this weekend so uh well done Jacob Preston everyone that has him uh anyone that doesn't have him I would recommend to bring him in because he's a uh, pretty low dollar and he's going to make a little bit of cash there too. Scoring 84 in his first game there. So fucking amazing from him. And the last decent performer I want to talk about is Stefano Otikamanu. Obviously in a struggling Tigers team. I think that try really helped him at the end of the game there. But, uh, which was very controversial, whether that was a try or no try. I don't, uh, yeah. You've seen that pulled up so many times for a double movement. But in Supercoach, fuck yeah, I'm happy <laughs> Happy as fuck for that one. But getting a 78 points overall is pretty impressive for me. And I'm pretty happy to have him in my squad there too. In my starting lineup. I'm not too sure whether how long he can keep any sort of this form up or anything like that. I think 38 last week and now it's 78. I think he's over break even. So he's going to make money. But, you know, just his potential and how high he can be. Because that Tigers team... And I, I just don't know. Hopefully, they click in again. Him next to Api Corusau because he does look like he's locking down either that starting role or a pretty high minutes role for the Tigers there. So, hopefully, he can get some meaties off Api Corusau or that team just clicks in together because... The Tigers have been one of the biggest disappointments this year. Before we go through my trades and all that sort of stuff, I want to touch on a couple of low points. So we had Tommy Talal only getting 11 points, obviously not playing too many minutes there, uh, going off with a HIA and broken nose, which is pretty unfortunate. I don't want to talk about all the controversial shit with it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty unfortunate there. Brendan Smith with 10 points, looking like he's carrying that rib injury. Uh, he's going to be carrying it into this game this weekend. I'm not too sure any minutes there, but he's definitely on my chopping block. Uh, yeah, pretty unfortunate. So who knows if he goes out this week and performs really well, plays high minutes, but honestly, there's just too many red flags on him at the moment. He'll probably come in a little bit later on, uh, knowing that he's going to lose a little bit more cash there, but not making break even and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, maybe he's an option later on down the track. But at the moment, yeah, he's just a no-go for me. Okay, so the first big trade I did this weekend, I took out Brendan Smith and I brought in Sonny Luke. I think Sonny Luke, obviously he's got the bye week this week uh, and there may be a couple of other options I could have gone for. But I just wanted to downgrade a shitload of cash there. Bring in Sonny Luke. He's going to make a tiny bit of cash with that little bit of break even. But I just see a lot more potential out of him and I can throw cash in other areas, especially having someone like Harry Grant there in my starting hooker role. Uh, he's definitely going to be making some good cash there. So it freed up so much cash that I can put in my other areas where I feel like I'm lacking a little bit. I've got 200k after this trading round that I've done. Uh, and I will be looking at areas like my front row spot uh, and a couple of areas where I can bring some more guns in to bring uh, to revitalize my pack at the top there. Uh, I feel like my edges are really doing well. I feel like every other area is doing pretty well other than obviously... Uh, maybe half if Nathan Cleary doesn't click on, continue there, but I'm willing to hold on to Nathan Cleary this week. That's just the way it is. Like, I just think he's a gun. Like, I, I don't know. And same thing with Teddy. Um, maybe Teddy could get downgraded to someone like a Reese Walsh. Reese Walsh is in a, like 500k or something like that. So, um, coming into next week, maybe because the Roosters are on a buy, bringing in Reese Walsh and that, seeing how his draw comes up later on. 
Uh, definitely a big watch this week for me in the Dragons to see how big of a game plan he could have, not only just for that one game, but continuing on because I've seen this for Reese. I've seen this from Reese like at the Warriors. He's had some big games for us. Obviously not as big as that game. That game was fucking amazing. Uh, but, you know, he's definitely a player I'm watching. The second trade I brought in was the hammer for Tommy Talau. So Tommy Talau did pretty disappointing for me the last couple of weeks. He didn't really have a lot of help, you know, the first week. It was apparently, it was a, it was crampings to the leg or something like that. It looked like he just blew a hammy. Like, it was so, like, shit to watch. So, uh, especially when you have him in my team. And then the second week, thinking, oh, fuck, you know, maybe he's all good. Like, we'll bring him through. Uh, and then going off with the HI and that sort of stuff. So he's going to be losing a, quite a bit of cash there. So uh, definitely bringing him out, especially because he's bottom dollar. I don't want to lose a shitload of cash on bottom dollar sort of players, like 300k players where I could be like making good cash on players like the Hammer. And that's the player I jumped on. So the Hammer's going to be making a shitload of cash. I'm going to jump on him now while he's going to get his price boost. I'll be there for the cash. So that's that's all I care about with him. And the other one I brought in, so I brought in Ruben Garrick out of Brian Toto. So I've been pretty high on Ruben Garrick for the last couple of weeks. After seeing that first game for him, I know it's only one game sample, but I really believe that that left side is going to be humming this year. Goal kicking, uh, scoring tries. Tommy is going to be playing that edge quite a bit. It's his favored edge. Uh, and then having Joshy Schuster there, which could be another look for me to trade in next week. I've got Sean Bloor on my bench. He's playing this week. No Johnny Bateman by the looks of it from everything I'm hearing. So I'm holding him for one more week, even though he could lose a little bit of cash, but he's like bottom, bottom dollar. So it's not too worried for me. And then maybe next week I could bring in Joshy Schuster, depending how he plays and put him on that edge spot. So that is my thought process on my team at the moment. Sammy Walker's playing for me this weekend. I brought him in. I'm looking at captaining Tommy Turbo to see how he goes at the weekend. Other than that, everyone on my team is pretty much as standard. Other than my reserves, I'm probably going to play Eli Katoa, Presto, uh, Isaiah Katoa, and James Tedesco. Uh, I'm, I could throw up a couple of different options there. Obviously, Taruva's not playing. Khan Pereira, maybe, but I, I don't want to chuck on him just yet. i give him a couple more weeks. He does look like he's going to be locking down that starting role other than Jojo Defeater, which is like pretty interesting for me. I rate Jojo. I think Jojo is a really good player. And now that Brian Kelly come back in, uh, obviously, you can't drop Philip Sammy off after the last couple of games, but then again, you could make a case that maybe Kelly can wait another couple of weeks and then see where he can fit into this team, but I don't know. So, uh, Will Warbrook, I could chuck him on reserve. Who knows? I wouldn't touch David Moale this week, depending on like, you know, they're getting a whole lot of forward rotations back, so he may not play decent minutes. He's definitely going to be a look at a trade out maybe soon for me. I don't know. Hopefully, it raises a little bit of cash, but... Yeah, this and that. But yeah, guys, that's how we're going to look for the weekend. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys all go well this weekend. Pray for all you guys. I could be thinking about captaining Hopgood, but I think I'm just going to go to safer option of Tommy Turbo. Uh, I could be fucking stung in the ass for doing this again because Hopgood's base stats look fucking awesome. He's base statting 120. Well, you know, he had a couple of try assists and all that sort of stuff in this. Well, we had one try assist in this one too, but... He's nearly base starting 100 points, so maybe he could be fucking mad viable for a captain this week. Who knows? Coming up to this weekend, it could all change. You know, like it's really tough to say this is set in stone. Uh, my team going into this weekend, uh, but the trades I am definitely set in stone on. Ruben Garrick, Hammer, and Sonny Luke in my squad, even though Sonny Luke's not playing this week. I could have looked at like a read money, but I feel like if Sonny Luke gets back in there, he's going to build a shitload of cash coming up forward, like future-wise. And then I can fill out all the rest of my team with my front row spot that is, seems to be lacking a little bit. I could drop Tino for Asul Malawi to like a Tohu Harris or something like that, free up a little bit of cash there around my spot and then upgrade Otikamanu or Moale or Franklin Bele to someone nice. So hopefully that's the way I'm thinking. Uh, there's a lot of thought, thought process because I do want Schuster in the team soon too. And again, we could downgrade someone like a Teddy or a Cleary. So who knows? Coming into the next couple of weeks, this Supercoach year is so crazy at the moment. But hope you guys enjoy the content. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Peace out.